Well, hey guys, my name is Natalie. This is Hey, It's a Good Life. And I'm so glad you're here because today we harvest from the garden for dinner. Guys, this is something that I've been looking forward to for what feels like so long because I wasn't able to harvest that much from our summer garden because I had a major soil deficiency issue. Um, if you follow along on Instagram, you know that I added uncomposted wood chips to the garden, which in my opinion, not everybody agrees, but in my opinion, they sucked up a lot of the nutrients out of the soil and I ended up having a lot of problems with my crop last season. Lesson learned, right? You fail and you learn from it and then it's not really a failure. So that's what the recovering perfectionist in me says at least. So anyway, I learned from it and we tried to rehabilitate the soil and again, kind of started seeing problems again. So I was really, really praying that we would get some kind of result this winter. And you guys, the results are in, we have kale. Enough kale for Zuppa Toscana. So I'm really excited to be sharing this first harvest experience with you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yay, it finally stopped raining just enough to get out here and harvest some kale. Dang, I am, I'm taking a moment to relish in this first harvest because I didn't know if my kale was gonna make it. I didn't know if any of these crops were gonna make it in light of the soil issues that I was having earlier this season. But like so many things in life, you just gotta do it and see what happens and give it your best effort. And I'm so glad I did because you guys, we have kale. If you are thinking about starting a garden, if you are an apartment dweller, if you don't have a lot of space, if you're worried that you don't have a green thumb, kale, that is the answer. Yes, you can, because look at me, I'm doing it. And yes, you can, because look, I did it, kale. And this survived some really tough conditions out here. I'm very impressed. So be encouraged that yes, you can garden, even if you have a small space, and even if you don't feel like you have a green thumb, because I did it, so you can too. Now, if you're wondering why I'm hanging on to this kind of dead piece, it's because this is good worm food. I have a place to put this stuff when I have old leaves or just, um, those first leaves that kind of die off. Now I've got somewhere to put these things. So this is gonna go for the worm bin. All right guys, and just like that, it has started to rain again. So let's get ourselves back inside. So I realized towards the last 1 16th of all the chores that I do on grocery day, that I didn't film any of it because I didn't think it was interesting. And I started having a conversation with myself about do I do enough? I think it's really easy for those of us who work or work part-time and run a home to discredit the home aspect. Yeah, I mean, I like running a home, so it's something that gives me joy most of the time and I feel very grateful to do it now that I know how hard it is when you've lost mobility, but yeah, I just felt like I needed to pause and tell myself and maybe remind anybody else out there who's watching that you get a lot of props for running a home and doing all the dishes and doing all the laundry and doing all the grocery shopping and cleaning out the fridge and putting away all the dishes and getting out all the old ones and washing those. It's like, it's just so easy to discredit ourselves for all these little things that we do. And so I am taking a moment to kind of give myself a pat on the back and tell myself that I do enough. And I'm kind of wondering like, am I the only one who feels like this weird tension between working and running a home? And I know I'm not, but yeah, let me know if you guys struggle with that and how you navigate that. I'd be curious to know how you guys feel about those things and you know, what you tell yourself and what feels like the right balance for you. All right, time to take out the trash. And then I come back and we make ours up at Toscana. Shout out to my amazing sister-in-law, Amy, who got me this garlic peeler. I use it all the time. And if I can find out where she got it, I will link it down below, but this thing works amazing. Let me show you how.
How was that? <laughs> Alright guys, well that's it for me tonight. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's time for us to eat it's some dinner. <laughs> You're literally the worst. I'm trying to finish videos. You're like, mm. <laughs> Super fun to share our kale harvest with you and this Zuppa Toscana recipe with you. Thanks so much for being here. And a really cool thing happened while I was filming and cooking dinner. I hit over a thousand subscribers on Instagram. So thank you so much for those of you who are following the Instagram journey. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, head over there now. I will link it down below. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope this video blesses you and we'll see you next time. Oh God, okay.